let me recognize of Roslyn Paul, parliamentary representative for the Pebush constituency. His Worship, the Mayor of Portsmouth, Mr. Francis. Dr. Blaise, representing the Permanent Secretary, the Minister of Education this morning. Our featured speaker, Dr. Kira Paul. And I want to pause here while I ask you to give Dr. Paul another round of applause for this extremely relevant and important address that she gave us here this morning. Let me also recognize Father Elvio, senior members of staff of the Ministry of Education, principal of, principals of the various schools, secondary and primary, teachers of the various schools, Ladies and gentlemen, members of the media, school children and youth. I was just asking the mayor, is this a school rally or a youth rally? And he told me it's a school rally, but all of them are youth. <laughs> and I find that was very interesting. But I want to apologize this morning for the absence of more members of parliament since we have another function taking place in Roseau and um, those of us from the north were called to be here and the others went to Roseau. But Honorable Ian Douglas, parliamentary representative for Portsmouth, is representing the government at a function in St. Thomas and so he's unable to be here with you this morning. I'll be very brief with you this morning as I know the sun is coming down and the best part of the program which many of you are anticipating the March pass is yet to come. But to say to you, in reviewing the theme, my love, my home, my country, my Dominica, building a resilient nation, every word can be extracted from this theme and given its own meaning, and we can speak for hours on the theme. But I believe for me this morning, what catches me is building a resilient nation. And I believe the schools, the school children of Dominica have demonstrated true resilience following the passage of Hurricane Maria. And that is well reflected in the results of the national assessment exams and the CXC exams in which you did tremendously well. And I ask you to put your hands together for yourselves for having done so well in those two exams. When you consider, when you consider that many of the schools were damaged or destroyed, when you consider that some schools in the north are still under construction and repairs, when you consider that we had no lights and no water, and children could not study at their leisure, the schools of the north, particularly part of secondary school, really, really made us proud. And also the primary schools also made us proud by placing among the top 10, some of them are the top 10 schools in the country. Resilient means really being able to bounce back quickly after a disastrous event. And no other resilience can be demonstrated by what our students and our teachers did for our children and to guarantee us the next generation or so. I want to say to you that you here this morning represents the future of this country. Hurricane Maria has given us a job to rebuild a completely brand new nation since everything was destroyed by Maria. And while we can continue to curse Maria, we must look at the opportunities that are presented to us to build a vibrant nation. I am very heartened that in this our 40th anniversary of independence and reunion year, a number of Dominicans have returned to see what has happened to their beautiful country. Because no matter how far you go, no matter how long you remain out of the country, Dominica will always be your home. And many of us who have traveled and outside will return to Dominica to retire and to spend our twilight days. And many of them have commented that this cannot be the same Dominica that it was last year at this time. It means that we have done tremendous work in improving and recovering from Maria. But what is important is the spirit of our people because 
no matter how much money you have, unless your people are in tune, unless your people are prepared to work, unless your people understand what is going on, it will not happen. And the people of Dominica have demonstrated that they love the country and they want to see their country develop. But this has to be done through solid leadership. Because again, no matter how far you go, unless you have a captain, unless you have a crew that can guide that ship of state to success, it is not going to happen. And so we must thank our leadership, the leadership of this country, for the tremendous work that they have done over the last year to ensure that we can be here this morning celebrating our country, celebrating our heritage, celebrating our love for Dominica. Portsmouth has had its fair share of this 40th anniversary of independence. Heritage Day was exceptional, I think. It's the best one that we've had from the inception of Heritage Day. Father Elvio led the charge on the morning with the mass and everything flowed from there. And today's activity is a continuation of the tremendous opportunities, of the tremendous talent, of the tremendous pride that we, the people of Portsmouth, have placed in our independence and ourselves. And I really want to thank the organizers of this activity for their patience, their tolerance, and bringing us through this moment of pride. Ladies and gentlemen, our job has just begun. We cannot rebuild the country totally and completely in one year. And there is tremendous work that we have to do in all aspects of our development, in agriculture, in culture, in construction, in infrastructure, in housing, we have a very long way to go. We have to raise the resources, and we want to thank our friends from abroad, from the region, from further field, for the tremendous support that they have given to us in our quest to build our country. But nobody can do it for us, and nobody can do it like we can do it. And this independence celebration should be a reminder that when all is said and done, we still have a lot of work to do. But I can say to you that listening to Dr. Paul, the future of this country is in great hands. And we need to ensure, we need to ensure that we take conscious and positive decisions in determining how far we want to get and how quickly we want to get there. You don't always like the medicine that your doctor gives to you. But you have to go to the doctor when you don't feel well. It might be bitter sometimes, but you have faith that having taken the medicine, you will get better. So too, the leadership of this country has to be taken seriously. And though some of the measures that we'll take may not be popular to everybody, but we have to have the faith and the confidence that the decisions taken are in the best interest of this country. Finally, I want to say to you, that along the path for rebuilding this country, along the path for development, there will be very many distractions. Sometimes you may feel like giving up. Sometimes you may feel like you cannot continue. Sometimes you may be influenced by what you see on television or what you hear on the radio. And sometimes you may feel you want to give up. But I want to say to you that no matter how you feel, Dominica is your own. And let Dominica be our guide. Let Dominica be our motivation that we're not doing this for ourselves, but we're doing it for our country. And I want to say to you that you can do whatever you want, but please do not damage our country. If you cannot do well for this country, then don't do anything at all, because Dominica will be here. When many of us are gone, Dominica will still be here. Too many times, we seek to get to our enemies by attacking our country. Too many times we seem to we want to get at our adversaries by attacking our country. Dominic Poco fait pièce on rien. Dominic Poco dommage personne. Dominic Poco mal parle personne. We are the biggest enemies of our own country. But while we have our side shows on the side, let us make Dominica. Let us put Dominica up front, and that is what. We want to celebrate. That is what we want to demonstrate on this our 40th anniversary. That long after we're gone, we will leave behind for future generations 
a Dominica that is fitting not only for ourselves, but a pride to the entire world. I want to say to you that we've done well so far, and we call on you to continue to work for your country, to work for the advancement of this country, and that all of us here may say that we were part of history. We were part of the rebuilding of Dominica after Maria. We were part of the rebuilding of Dominica after Erica. May God continue to bless you. May God continue to bless our beautiful country. May God continue to bless Dominica as a whole. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.